Joe Biden's mental fitness, fitness was on trial in Congress today. The special prosecutor who described the US president as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory, in his report detailing the investigation into Joe Biden's handling of classified documents, gave evidence to a congressional hearing. Our Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen is live from DC. Now, Annalise, the special prosecutor has defended his report. He has indeed. This was an interesting hearing because it goes straight to an issue that's at the heart of the next election. Both sides were playing clips throughout the hearings of not only Joe Biden, but former President Donald Trump, with Democrats trying to make that comparison to say, look, if you think Joe Biden's old and losing his memory, your guy is too. So not a lot to give much confidence there to the ordinary public. But what we were seeing was some pointed questions around this report. So you'll remember this was the report done by the special prosecutor, Robert Hur, into the allegations against Joe Biden that he mishandled classified documents when he left office as vice president, similar to what we've seen Donald Trump caught up in. And so what what we've seen today is some pretty pointed questions in this hearing that went for about five hours with questions to the special prosecutor about whether he should have included the descriptions of Joe Biden's memory as being failing. You could have chosen just to comment on the president's particular recall vis-a-vis -a, -vis a document or a set of documents, but you decided to go further and make a generalized statement about his memory, didn't you? Congressman, I could have written my report, theoretically, in a way that omitted references to the president's memory, but that would have been an incomplete and improper report. Robert Hur said it went to the heart of the idea of criminality and that you have to have intention and that would have been difficult to prove with Joe Biden's memory issues. One of the other interesting moments from this hearing was from another Democrat representative who wanted to ask about the case and make the point that Joe Biden was exonerated by this report finding. But Robert Hur disagreed with that. So this lengthy, expensive and independent investigation resulted in a complete exoneration of President Joe Biden. For every document you discussed in your report, you found insufficient evidence. I need to um, go back and, and make sure that I take, take note of the word that you used, uh, exoneration. That Mr. is not a word Her, that I'm going to continue, with my, my continue with my questions. I'm going to continue with my questions. I know that, that the term that I ultimately reached I know that whether the term sufficient evidence existed such that the likely you outcome you, you exonerated would be a conviction. Him. I know that I the term willful him, that retention report, has a... Mr. Hurd, it's my time. So the representative didn't like that answer. An exoneration is a declaration of innocence, which this report didn't do. They said that they couldn't, on the evidence, proceed with a trial. And so that's quite an important distinction. But this will be at the heart of the election upcoming in November, as Joe Biden is the candidate for the Democrats. Annalise, thank you.